Hello guys and welcome to another video. We're gonna dive into the next problem on code forces, which is in search of an easy problem. So this is another file from the category. You know what? I'm gonna go right back. And instead of doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new tab. It's just easier to keep this sorted this way. Alright, so the problem states um, when preparing a tournament. Code forces coordinators try their best to make the first problem as easy as possible. This time, the coordinator has chosen some problem and asked n people about their opinions. Each person answers whether this problem is easy or hard. If at least one of these n people has answered that the problem is hard, the coordinator decides to change the problem. For the given responses, Check if the problem is easy enough. The first line contains a single integer n, which is uh, between 1 and 100. The number of people who ask, who were asked to give their opinions. The second contains n integers. Each integer is either 0 or 1. If the i integer is 0, then the i person thinks that the problem is easy. If it's 1, then the i person thinks that the problem is hard. Uh, print one word easy if the problem is easy uh, according to our responses or hard if there is at least one person who thinks the problem is hard. Alright, let's go ahead and solve this problem. We're going to add some includes. I'm going to add a stdio h and then we can create a type def. Uh, and on sign short should be good for this problem. Issue. And then let's define main. So we're taking the number of elements. We're going to create some variable for that. Elements, and then uh, the input. All right. Scanf. Uh, percent issue, and then taking the elements. We're going to say uh, while uh, elements minus minus. We need to go ahead and take in the input. So we'll say scanf uh, percent issue. And then we'll take in the uh, input. We're going to say that if the uh, input right zor one. So the reason why we zor this by one is that if the input is a one, then it should tell us that somebody actually stated that the problem was hard. So we can nod that to make this true. And if that's the case, we can print uh, the string hard. Do a printf hard. And then we can return uh, zero right away because we just need to find that at least one person said that the problem was hard. Now we can print uh, easy here. And then we can uh, return zero. All right, so we can test this problem by running it. So if we were to put Three, and we had a one. It should just say hard right away. We can do another one again, and let's say if we had one input and there was a zero, then it should say easy. And that's it. So we can copy this, and then um, go back. Go to the submit button, and then we can paste this here and submit. and the solution is upside down.